Welcome back into the Treveca Sports Network. I'm Lucas Panzica, joined once again by head volleyball coach Emily Morez. There is good news on campus at Treveca Nazarene University. We have schedules in the athletic department for these 2021 spring seasons. And Coach Moore, we start with you guys. The release happening on this Friday by the GMAC. Volleyball will be in action January 22nd at Hillsdale College. That has to feel good. It's great. We're excited, ready to get some uh, games scheduled, uh, ready to travel again, ready to host teams in our gym. Um, and yeah, really excited to have the opportunity to, to compete. Hillsdale College on the 22nd, then you stay on the road on the 23rd to take on Finley. So a nice road trip there before you finally make your way back home. You host Tiffin University January 29th. So it's going to be a bit of a long road before you get to host a team again. Uh, just detail that excitement of what it's going to be like to take the floor here at Treveca and how much you guys are going to be counting down the days. Yeah, um, obviously excited now to be back in the gym practicing, hoping to do some purple and white scrimmages to just get that game feel here this fall. Um, and then when we return in January, going to treat it like a normal preseason. Um, when we move in early in the summer, it's just going to be flip flopped for us. Um, and, you know, we playing in the GMAC, we're used to being on the road, having some long distance road trips. It's nothing new to these returners. Um, opening up with some really tough competition, though, going up to Hillsdale. Uh, they won the conference last year. Um, Finley's always tough. And then really excited, though, for that first home match and getting to face off with Tiffin again. We had a really exciting match with them last year at their place. Yeah, getting thrown right into the fire with that Hillsdale matchup, but I know you guys will be ready for it. How does this kind of restructure your off season? Because as we sit right now, beginning of October, you're still not going to play near the end till until near the end of January. So, uh, what kind of challenges does that pose for you as the head coach and creating an off season schedule? What's funny is I just had this exact conversation with the team yesterday at the start of practice. Um, you know, I've I've never coached nor have I ever played a a true spring sport. I'm not used to this. Uh, training schedule. I'm used to you come right in and you get hit in the face pretty hard <laughs> in the first month of, of practice. And then you have weekly feedback on what you need to work on to get better. Um, and then the season wraps and you have a holistic view of, okay, these are the things we need to accomplish in the springtime to make us prepared for the fall. So now we are trying to ready young players, ready freshmen, without them having ever seen collegiate competition. Um, we're trying to remind the returners that this is that time where you really have to believe in the process, um, process-oriented rather than focusing on strictly execution and the, the, the products. We have a lot of time to come together and build and um, hopefully be – better poised than we ever have been to actually compete in conference when when those first few matches roll around. Well, it's an 11-game conference slate as of now. Still a few non-conference opponents to be ironed out, but check out tnutrojans.com for the new volleyball schedule. Coach Moore, thank you for doing this. Congrats on the good news, and can't <laughs> wait to see you guys take the floor in January. Thanks, Lucas.